Hey guys, thanks for joining us today. Mike here at Weeby Autos. Today we have a killer over the top 1934 Ford three window coupe. Man, a lot of money in this car, huh, Kenny? 140,000. It shows too. Looks like a beautiful build. Very talented guy. Was he an engineer or something? No, actually, the guy was a cabinet maker. Huh. He spent six years building it and uh, he didn't miss a trick. Everything about the car is done to the tens. Gorgeous. Um, underneath is all chrome. Hmm. Love these headlights with the halo and the skull. Those are skull he headlights wow. with the halos. Beautiful graphics and artwork, pinstriping all the way around. All this here, this is all called chrome illusion. It's mm. not it's not chrome, but it looks like it. Yeah, it does. It's down the side too. Um, yeah. What have we got under the hood? Looks like a ZZ4. Yep. Fuel injected. Air conditioning. Mm. Um, you know, it's a built motor, it's not stock. Cool, shorty headers. Yeah. Um, uh, street performance, fuel injection. I love how you put the old school up top. Everything is chrome and stainless. All the hardware is uh, stainless steel. And uh, aluminum uh, fittings are, you know, like uh, Allen key. Yep. Serpentine system. All billet. Police. 100% reliable. You just got back from New Jersey with it, right? Yep, I took it on uh, two and a half hours there, two and a half hours back. Not one bit of problems. Mm. Doing 75, 80 on the highway. It's got overdrive. Cool. What transmission? Uh, it's got a 700R in it. Oh, perfect. Um, it's got the digital readout on the inside on the floor. Oh, okay. So you know what gear you're in. Cool. Uh, over $10,000 worth of artwork. Yeah. Super talented, whoever did all this artwork and pinstriping and chrome illusion. V8. So cool. Four wheel disc brakes. Yep. These tires are 235 75R15s. Yes, and those are Eagle wheels, actually. There's a little story behind them. I was looking for the right wheel for the car. I found a guy that had those wheels. I knew they were at, you know, they were an old wheel. They don't, they don't sell them anymore. Yeah, I like the look. And uh, they were actually in the guy's basement for 25 years wow. brand new in the box <gasps> jeez what a find yeah so you got 15s in the back and 14s up front no they're 15s up front oh, wow. too. Well, yeah the tire gives a little difference yeah an illusion that it's not you know smoked rear tail lights tinted windows yeah the windows are all tinted side exhaust yeah, windshields actually tinted too oh cool Looks like the exhaust is uh, stainless steel. All, all the way from front to back, all stainless. Mm -hmm. uh, the front and rear sway bars, those are chrome. Cool. Um, the front end is chrome. Man, I love the detail on this motor. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's, it's a nice piece. Yeah, especially with the fuel injection. Hop in. Yeah, yeah. Just go. Just turn the key and you go. No you noticed problems. on the body, there's a lot of nice improvements, too. Oh, the body is... Uh, so it's a street beast body. It's a street beast body. And then this piece is like... That was added. That's part added, of the side yeah. cover. All this is part of the side cover right here. Mm -hmm. This is part of the side cover, and this is part of the nose. Yeah. All molded in. Smooth I mean, you never done. even know it was done. Smooth firewall. Finished and the guy perfection. was, like I said, he was a cabinet maker. Yeah. He's a perfectionist, this guy. These guys are perfectionists. Yeah. They really are. Man, killer. Love the turning signals down there, too. Very cool. You know, just such a work of art, it really is. I like the Street Beast body too because it's so thick. It's the doors closed like metal. Right. It's, this is a custom grill, by the way. That's all. That's all handmade. Every one of those. Wow. Is it aluminum or stainless? No, that's stainless. Wow. It's all stainless. Beautifully handcrafted. Wow. There's so many things on this car he made by hand. Yeah. Including the door latches on the inside. That's probably why it took him six years to build it. Yeah. It was, you know, he wanted to build one. And... Very cool. It's got uh, remote remote door poppers, too. It's open up with a... Uh... They pop like a switch. Hit a button. Also has a remote cut off to cut the power off to the car. Cool. A lot of room in there, too. Very roomy. You can be a big guy. Yeah, old stainless you can be hardware. You and be comfortable. Nice speakers. 
Looks like a tilt wheel. I did it. I did a column. Little car shifter. The four speed. No, it's an automatic. We have four speed automatic. I'm sorry. 700 R4. Classic instruments gauges with 2,340 miles. Yeah, I put 2,000 miles on it since I've had it. Wow. Um, Air conditioning, all the buttons yep. for the lights and stuff are hidden under the dash. Oh, very nice. Wiper buttons. The wipers do work, but they, they, I don't have them on the car. I have the chrome okay. things. Vintage air setup. Right down to the clock, too. Oh, all the pedals. Oh, Corvette radio. Yeah, that's it. The guy took the radio. Yep. He had it sent out and had all the modern technology put into it. Oh, so it. it's got Bluetooth or aux in? Or? No, it don't have Bluetooth, but it's it's got modernized. It sounds like a you know late model stereo. Cool. Beautiful. Little mini rear view mirror. And the, uh, it's got vintage air and heat, and the the, uh, the frost actually works, which most of the time they don't have it. Yeah, it work. I see the little vents right there. Yep, no, it's all hooked up. Very this guy cool. didn't miss a thing. It's got the aftermarket pedals. Oh, low car? Yep. Third brake light, LED interior light. Yeah. Beautifully done. Batteries behind the seat. Mm hmm. Fuse box and everything is all in one panel behind the seat. Cool. Can you pop the trunk? Uh, sure. Very nicely finished, you know. All the lines and the gaps are beautiful. Finished trunk. It's got a little spot here for uh, storage. For storage. Cool. Plus, it has this thing here. This yeah. is a cool idea the guy did. Yep. This is your gas cap right here. You oh, just turn it here. Cool. Like that. And yeah, flush them out. Yep. It's nice and neat. You know, no stainless up tank, there. I guess. Well, stainless, yeah. 10 bolt rear. Uh, 10 bolt rear, yeah. It's fired up. Beautiful. What kind of battery you got in it? Gel battery? Okay. Man, it sounds so good. It's a dial. Okay. It's a three-year battery. It's brand new. I just put it in. Shorty headers. What kind of mufflers? Um, it's got pole masters in there. Oh, sounds so good. They're polished. They're not like the regular ones. Yeah, what a pretty car. Very solid, no body flex. Some glass cars have body flex. This car. The street piece is so thick. It's, it's as far as I'm concerned, it's like the best. Uh, I think so too, but people have opinions. Uh, Love the color and the flames. Ghosted chrome, so cool. Yeah, he's got 140 in it. He built the car himself, except for the people. Oof. Man, that's, that's a ton of money. Well, guys, thanks for joining us today. Again, my name is Mike from Weeby Autos. Give me a call, 631-339-0399. Smash that subscribe button. Visit the website, WeebyAutos.com. And uh, thanks a lot, Kenny. Thank you. Beautiful.